A storm in January 1953 was the worst peacetime disaster of the 20th century and was the greatest storm for hundreds of years. A weekend of truly appalling disaster began with the sinking of the ferryboat Princess Victoria off the Irish coast. Our story begins with the return of the Donaghadee lifeboat from the scene of the tragedy at sea. focused on the lifeboat, which did such splendid work thanks to her courageous crew, led by the coxswain, 63-year-old Hugh Nelson. This is how he summed up. When we got out there, the ship was gone. And the weather was very bad. Conditions were very bad. Visibility was bad. B was heavy. And with the assistance of the steamers too, they gave us all the assistance they could. Put it over. seen a sight that didn't look better looking back Thank you. 
you prisoner and the flames can make you dry. So can burn your eyes while lonely people make you cry. Home is made for coming from for dreams of gold. And if it kept on that track, would hit Cape Hatteras, a low, sandy island that bulges out from the coast of North Carolina. So a hurricane watch, is the technical word, went out for everybody from the well-named Cape Fear all the way to the northern coast of Maine. Get out a map of Europe and stretch a danger zone of 1,200 miles. About 40 million people live along that wriggling coastline. And in 11 states, the National Guard was called out, the state police and the local police and the Coast Guard, and all the fire departments, the hospitals, the paramedics, and the carpenters and builders and electricians got busy evacuating the coastal residents inland into schools and motels and hotels and churches and office building basements. With any luck, we'll never come through. He left me for another lady She stood so tall and she never slept There was not one moment he could regret He left me for another lady
I'll state my case of which I am certain. I've lived a life that's full. Traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Regrets.